The rain didn't stop the energy and excitement of the 11th annual Walk for Wishes. We are knocking on the door of 100,000, so today we're going to push right through that. CBS 6's Bill Fitzgerald and Tracy Sears led the event for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. It's a part of a partnership where CBS 6 gets to raise awareness and highlight stories that celebrate the thousands of wishes granted while also helping raise money for future wishes. I'm grateful for it. Parker Plank is one of the kids who will soon get his wish. He is wrapping up his treatment and got to go kick off the walk Saturday at the Kicker Stadium. I can't wait to ring the bell. I'm probably going to break it. Parker says the last few months have not been easy on him emotionally and physically. I didn't know what like, was going to happen. But like during it, like the f like, couple of the first days I was getting like heavy treatment and I got my port in, I started learning what it was and it was pretty hard. But he says when learning he had a wish, it helped him give him something to look forward to. I rambled because, um, I get to go to Hawaii with my family and have a good time instead of just worrying about like, getting chemo all the time. I want to take them on an adventure because they've always taken care of me since I was got an, um, can leukemia cancer. Family is what Parker says got him through this challenging time. And to his dad, Parker will forever be his hero. One of the things that your dad said to you was that you were his hero. When did he say that to you? Since day one when I learned out how to take pills. Wow. <laughs> you learned how to swallow pills. Soggy steps for this year's event, but steps that will do so much to help so many families in Virginia. How we can celebrate kids that have um, critical illnesses and how we can raise money for them to get them a wish. In Richmond, Maggie Marshall, CBS 6 News.